Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. Today's video is going to be super exciting. I'm really looking forward to making this video. I asked you guys over on my Instagram for some video requests. And if you guys do want to request some videos, I think that that is still going to be up by the time that this video is posted. But you guys suggested that I do an Instagram versus reality video. And I thought that, that was a great idea because on Instagram, obviously we show everything in its perfect state, but as you can tell by this plant behind me, that is not always the case. Plants don't always look as good as they do on Instagram, in my house at least. So yeah, that's going to be the gist of today's video. I'm going to be taking you guys around. I'll show you guys an Instagram picture of the plant that I'm about to show you. And then we will go into how the plant is doing now and just check if those two match. Spoiler alert, a lot of these are not going to look the same because I've had them for a little bit and you know in the last few months quite a few of my plants have been struggling so yeah we'll just have to see what everything looks like now. There are definitely some success stories but there are also some failures. So yeah if that sounds like something that you are interested in definitely continue watching this video all the way through to the end that helps me out so much. Also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely click that red button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I also have YouTube memberships available if you're interested in joining an awesome Discord group chat. Now at the lowest tier, you do gain access to all of my extra videos that I post, the Discord group chat, and you're also featured at the end of my video. There are some extra perks available as well, so definitely go check out the join button down below or the link in my description if you're interested in that. But yeah, I think that's all that I needed to get out of the way before we start this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. So as you can see from my Instagram photo, this Dracaena marginata looks absolutely beautiful. But in reality, this unfortunately is what the plant is looking like right now. This is actually not my fault, surprisingly. <laughs> um, most of these plants are looking poor or they're not looking the greatest because of my actions and maybe underwatering. but this plant here is not looking the best because my cat likes to jump all over it and pull out leaves and run away with them so this plant really took a hit from Lumi. She hasn't had any issues playing with these leaves at all. I know that this isn't specifically a um, pet safe plant. It's actually technically toxic for pets, but it hasn't given her any adverse reactions. So I'm not going to stop her from playing around on it because she does have a lot of fun playing with this plant. So while it does look really sad, I am just going to keep it and hopefully try to regrow some of these leaves. I don't know if they're going to. I really don't know how Dracaenas work but I'm pretty sure that you can just chop them and they will regrow. So I don't know, we'll have to see how this one turns out, but it's obviously not looking its best. As you can see in this photo, my Ethereum Beachii looks absolutely beautiful. And unfortunately right now it's not looking the same. This is the current state of the Anthurium Vichii. You guys saw it in my last video. It's not doing the absolute best, but it's not doing the absolute worst. So right now we're just having some issues with browning, but we are also getting a new leaf coming in. So while it was a little bit concerning in the beginning that, you know, things were taking a turn for the worse, we are getting a new leaf and I imagine that that's going to come out really, really beautifully. So I will continue to update you guys on this one and I'll show you guys growth updates as that growth continues to push out. But yeah, it's definitely not looking the same that it did on Instagram those few weeks ago. You can see in this Instagram photo that my Philodendron Gloriosum is doing the absolute best. And this is one of my most recent photos. So as you can see, it still looks, you know, the absolute best, but there is some yellowing around the edge of some of these leaves, just older leaves that will eventually die off. 
I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon because my experience with this plant is that the leaves can get really, really yellow before they actually yellow. This is still looking really, really gorgeous. It's growing new leaves every single week, honestly. This here is the newest leaf on the Gloriosum and it is looking perfect as ever. Honestly, all of these leaves are looking perfect. Any new leaf that has come in since I propagated it has done really, really, really well. Yeah, you can see they're just really gorgeous. And we actually have a brand new leaf back there. Sorry if you can't see it very well, but I honestly didn't even know that this plant had a new leaf growing in, which just goes to show you how quickly it is growing. This plant has two separate stolons in there. So that is why it grows so quickly because we have two growth points at all times. And yeah, it's getting really, really bushy and really, really beautiful. I'm super duper happy with this plant purchase and I will never be getting rid of this plant. So as you can see in this Instagram photo, we have my beautiful Syngonium erythrophyllum. It is still looking really great as you can see here. It's not as shiny because it definitely needs a little dust off, but there is new growth there and you know, everyone's just happy. I think I did take one cutting since that photo. So if you see a few less leaves on this one, that is why, but I don't think I ever did anything with that cutting. I actually really regret taking it. I think I just cut it and then let the cutting die. It's so sad, but you know, it's still doing really well. It has two growth points in there, which is nice. It does um, grow really slowly. So it's nice to have a plant that can grow from two separate points. But yeah, definitely looking good. I will shine this one up because it looks amazing when I do, but that's for another video. As you can see from this photo, this Syngonium is not looking its best. It's a little bit scraggly. This guy was in a recent video as well, but as you can see, it is doing really, really well. I'm super happy with the growth on this one, especially because it honestly almost died when um, Lumi knocked it over. It just didn't recover very well, but obviously it's doing really well now and I'm super duper excited to have this one just turn into a massive bush. It probably will need a moss pole and I will give it that if it does need it, but right now it's still doing okay just standing up on its own. If it does start trailing, I'll probably put it on a moss pole. So in this photo, you can see this unknown Monstera, I'm not sure of the ID. This is what we're working with. We've got a three leaf plant, and I believe that first leaf from the photo that I just showed you guys is actually no longer on this plant. I'm pretty sure that one did yellow off and die, but it's now working on a fourth leaf there, which is super exciting, and it's looking really, really beautiful. I don't know the exact ID of this plant, but I do know that it's not just your typical Monstera adansoni. If you do know for sure what this plant is, I know it's really difficult until they mature, but if you do know, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys, but the growth pattern is much different from the different adansonis I've had in the past. It was sold to me as a skeleto, but you never know. I do really love the look of this plant though, and I think it's looking much better than it did in that photo. So this is another one that's honestly looking better than Instagram right now. In this photo, you can see my beautiful Mandula pothos, and it's looking really, really great. But in real life, this is how this plant is looking. Unfortunately, these guys tend to lose their lower leaves really easily and that is what has happened in this case. The plant that you saw in the photo before was really bushy and beautiful, and now this plant is not looking as beautiful. It obviously lost those lower leaves, and that's why you're seeing it looking a little bit stemmy or leggy here, <laughs> but it is still a very beautiful plant. You know, my mom's is actually looking even better than mine, so, you know, maybe we'll do a trade and We'll see how this one can recover in her environment. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's 
it's okay. It's not looking the worst, but it definitely doesn't look the same that it did in that photo, which is the purpose of this video. This is reality, and the other photo was Instagram. <laughs> we also have this beauty that I took a photo of and posted on my Instagram. This is my Hoya Callistophylla. As you can see, it is pretty much looking the same. We've got a fungus gnat though. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks about the same, but when I did take that photo, this plant was actively growing, and now, as you can see, the stem is quite woody and dead. So it's going to have to push out a new growth point somewhere here. I'm not in any crazy rush. This plant um, was really slow from the beginning and you know it's gonna continue to be slow, but I do love the Callistophylla long leaves, which this one is. And yeah, I'm gonna just keep on trucking along with this guy, but it looks about the same as it did in that photo. So this one here is actually a really exciting update as well. This here is my Hoya Finlaysonii. And as you can see, and in this photo, it only has about four leaves or five leaves actually. But now, as you can see, we've got more leaves. How many leaves do we have? Seven leaves on this one. I'm really, really excited about this plant. I love the way that these leaves come in. They all look so unique, which is something really, really fun about these Hoyas. The veiny ones, they always look so different. So yeah, definitely excited about this plant. This leaf is looking a little bit odd now. It doesn't have that same veining, but they are the oldest leaves, so yeah. Obviously this guy's doing a little bit better than the last photo, but it was also a little while ago, so that does make sense. So one of the last plants is this beautiful leopard lily. As you can see in this photo, the leaves are looking really nice and polka dotted, but unfortunately in reality right now, we aren't getting that same pattern on the leaves. You can see it on some of the older leaves there that haven't yet died off, but the newer leaves have been coming in without those dots. I did try to give it some brighter light and it didn't really seem to do anything, actually. Actually, I don't know why it won't focus on the leaf that I'm trying to show you, but this leaf right here does have some polka dots on it and that has come since I put it in some brighter light. So I don't know, maybe it is doing better and maybe I will get those dots back, but yeah, it's definitely looking a little bit different than you guys saw it last, but it is still living and it's still doing okay. Um, just got a lot more leggy and doesn't have those beautiful same dots anymore. Definitely still love this plant though, and I can't wait to watch it grow. It hasn't given me any pest issues, which I was told it might. So yeah, definitely happy about that. So this photo here shows the final plant that I'm going to talk about, and that is my Anthurium regal. As you guys know, this plant did go through some cold damage issues, and yeah, it's gone through a lot since then too. It did eventually grow back from having those cold damage um, issues, but the leaf that it did come back with got spider mites really badly, and I didn't notice. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we are now left with this stump, but it is finally pushing out some new growth, so I'm pretty confident it's gonna be okay. You can see it has a longer stem here, so it's obvious that some older leaves have fallen off, but we're just gonna you know, stick with it and see where this one goes. I'm hoping that it doesn't come out with spider mites, but I definitely did treat this lots of times since then, so yeah, I don't think it will, but you never know. Well guys, that was it for this video. I really hope you did enjoy it. It was really, really fun for me to make and I was a little bit surprised just going through and really taking a look at these plants. I think that I should probably tweak my plant routine at this moment because some things just should be looking better than they are. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, before you leave, definitely don't forget to click that red button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, if you would like to become a member, gain access to some extra content and join my Discord group chat, definitely click that join button down below or the link in my description for more information. But yeah, that's going to be all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.